Alrighty, welcome back. I am Azredad. Let's get this headset back on right. This is the long dark. We slept, which means now we don't need the lantern. At least not at the moment. Okay. Ooh, orange. Okay, so not going that way. So we get up. Wow, hole in the roof. At least we're not losing heat. Oh, and I should probably consume some fluids. Hope nobody needs this anymore. I know I put most of them in the drawer in the ca the filing cabinet. Whatever. So much nonsense. So the drawers, the contents are randomly assigned, but are the... I left it in the cave, head back out from the dam, follow the river, look for a cave near a clearing with a hunter's blind. So that's a thing. Ooh. So... Mystery Lake Supply Cache. I'm gonna have to do that one. You know, obviously, you gotta do all the side quests. I have a five-year-old insisting he didn't move the speaker. And honestly, who knows? Really, I should go down and drop a whole bunch of this food off. I think I can use this. Let's run back down and drop the food off so I don't sprain myself. Um, let's actually... Um, let's... Oh, it's full. Um, hmm. Oh, let's just take the food out of there. I'm gonna have to leave something behind. Yeah, yeah, hush. Get rid of all of that. Honestly, let's put the meat down for now. We, we're just putting it all down for now. Um, we'll keep the drinks that are super light. Nothing that I have to prepare, though. Because drinks are calories and... Um, hydration rolled into one. And... Because we didn't sleep in a bed last night. No, I should drop off anything else. Move all the container. Let's take that back. That back. Let's move these down to here. Because we got the third one there. Um. I mean, I know we're still looking for a. Uh, place to start a fire, though I don't really need it at the moment. And then in the bottom we can put... Well, I don't need that for sure. I don't need the second one of those. 
I don't need a second one of those. can honestly probably get away with just one of those. Let's just do two of those. And I still have some drinks. Let's hit them drinks up, actually. And hit up another one. That one. Oh, I should probably... Need some this one. Wait. Where did I put my fuel? Um, I'm sorry, what happened to the fuel? Where? I don't, dude, I lost my fuel. That's bogus. Cause I know I had some. Did I leave it? No, I'm fairly certain I brought it with me. <sighs> Aid station. That sounds like what the trapper needs. Oh, but I can force open all the rest of them. Still eat this. Well, I mean, you can eat anything if you're hungry enough. Doesn't mean you'll survive the process. Or that, you know, it's gonna be tasty. What have we here? That way. Nope. Just that one piece. See which pry bar is in better condition. This gets me in here. And hopefully from in here. I'll be able to find is it food or? the key. To, uh, the medical place. More rifle ammo is nice. Yeah, back to being a sprain risk. I got it. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Well, luckily, I'm not actually asking you to carry any of it for any length of time because we're going to dump it all in one of these drawers up here. Um. Hopefully the key's in the safe. Though I think I could use this. That stuff's all randomized. All right. So 10, possibly 11. Five, 
51 or 52. I'm assuming 52. To 10. Okay. You have to go all the way back past it. Okay, so it was 10. So it looks like 10, 51, 10, or 52, 10. I guess 11. 11, 52, There we go. Stuff will come in handy. Nothing useful. By useful, I mean keys. And there's the aid station key. Carter Hydro Dam managed to take it. The elevator is acting up again. We've checked the mechanics and they seem fine. Must be something glitchy in the electrical system. Keep an eye on it. It's really the only way to the turbine room. If the elevator gets stuck, it is a long walk before you can get back to the control room. Okay. So does that mean I can get into the control room? Appa I mean, eventually, I, apparently I'm going to have to get power. Which means I'm probably going to be back here. Might just be a side quest, but, you know, it's going to be something I have to do. Elevators are just outright out of service. All right, let's grab medical supplies. Head back down to the industrial strength antibiotics and very strong painkillers. Dangerous. You can get hooked on this stuff. Let's hope we don't need it. Uh, milk supplies back to the old man, the old trapper, before he dies. Um, so let's go here. What do we got? Clothes? Uh, let's check the new clothes. You're down in all stats. You're down. Still down in all stats. Nope. 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 Make me faster. Nothing useful. What are you, food? I mean, quite honestly, I don't want to leave all this food here. What are we at in here? This is burn stuff. Yeah, I want these. You have that. And that, and that, and that. Just in case I have to stop somewhere and make a fire on the way home. Where am I looking at activity-wise? Um, and then you are this one. Uh, keep the better crowbar. Tool sets are identical. I can leave that stuff and be fine. Um... Quite honestly, it's the food that I'm not looking forward to leaving behind. But I never even found a place to, to warm up food. So. Alright, let's get out of here. We're just leaving some stuff. I might be back for it, I might not. 
I'd better check in on that old trapper. Actually, close the gate. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to kill that bear at some point in time. And that's how this is gonna work. Um, I'm really hoping I don't have to start a fire. And we check the time. And it's not too bad. I don't, at the moment, want to run down and get that cachet. I will, at some point in time, go get that cash. Cachet. Whatever. That time is not now. And really, I, I just gotta remember where I need to make my cutoff. And then cut off at the right spot. This works for wolves. This does not work against the bear. 100% guarantee it doesn't work against this bear. Like, it might work against regular bears in the survival game. I don't 100% know. Ooh. Okay. I don't know how to set hotkeys. There are apparently buttons that refer to specific things. Because I just accidentally switched to my weapon. At least now I know I can switch to the weapon real fast. It's number one. Could end up being useful. Could. The president said it last time. Although then, like now, I was more just in a hurry to get where I was going. Um, now I guess I can cut. I don't have to make you watch the run back. Yeah, let's do that. We won't make you watch it. Let's cut, and um, we'll see when I get there unless something happens. Yeah, I didn't see much in the way of rabbits. On the whole, uh, on the walk either direction. Yeah, I don't need that at the moment. Let's come in here. Get through the what's absolutely gonna be a cutscene. Dog oh, shit. Oh, that's smart. Take it easy. You're pretty banged up. You're probably a bit delirious too. I just gave you a shot of some heavy antibiotics. Might feel funny for a while, but it'll help. And you're gonna need some time to recover. Time? <laughs> we don't have time. We need to get a message out. <laughs> it's important. Excuse me. 
<laughs> Message. You mean to your friend? Asking for medical help? Never mind that. Help me up so I can look at the radio. Let's see if the parts you brought back are any good. I mean, what's the worst you could happen, right? That's a military shortwave, isn't it? Maybe. I know a bit about radios. That's not like any surplus I've ever seen. Ah, damn it! Well, the parts look fine. So, whatever's wrong with the radio goes deeper than that. What could it be? Ah, something to do with the power. <laughs> Fuses. Transformers, maybe. We have bigger problems to deal with first. That bears out. Some more stuff I have to do. Hunting us. Yeah, you should take, him, take me out when I got there. Bastard. He'll keep us from getting out, getting supplies, finding help. Eventually, he'll either get us or starve us out. I mean, possibly. Or, you know, with the nine rounds of heavy rifle ammo, I can just shoot him in the face. Help me back to the bed. You'll have to give me um, five minutes. Ooh, the dam. The dam was pretty busted up, like you said. The place was cracked open by the quake years ago and never recovered. It was already half dead at the time. Meaning? The dam dates back to the 60s. Industrialists from the mainland wanted to use it to power a mining town he was planning to build. But the bottom fell out of the price of coal. And he had to abandon those plans. Some fool tried to get it running again in the 80s. But then the forest talkers got involved, and that was the end of it. Pretty sure the Quakes finished the job once and for all. So, who are the forest talkers? Eco-terrorists. Activists, some call them. Depends on who you talk to, I guess. Why are they out here? Got the achievement for bringing well, them back from near death. They've been active for years. They come and go. Mostly here to throw a wrench in the works for a variety of resource projects, mining, forestry mainly. They want Great Bear to remain a pristine wilderness. <laughs> you don't sound like you agree. Oh, I have no love for industry. But this is the way of the world. You have something they want, they take it. Nothing much you can do to stop it. Well, Ain't that true? judging by what I saw in the dam, I'd say the forest talkers are still active. Well, ah, that's good news for you. Keep your eyes open for supply caches they might have left behind. Found the one. I got it on the map anyway. Can you tell me anything about where we are? Well, this whole area takes its name from Mystery Lake nearby. It's kind of a wilderness preserve. Though you wouldn't know it from the logging trucks. I didn't see any trucks. Well, the one. Not much around there, apart from some lake cabins that'll be locked up for the season. You've already seen the dam. Railroad passes through the area. Trains come through once in a while. Fewer every year. The whole area is mostly dead. Most of the year. You sound like you like it that way. <laughs> yeah. I sure do. Uh, it would drive so, me nuts. No other people living out here? I mean, I'm good without other you people, but understand. I have to have entertainment. The collapse destroyed Great Bear. There's nothing here to stay for. You meet anyone out here? Chances are they're hiding from something or someone. And you? Why are you here? I have my reasons. What's this unfinished business between you and the bear? Uh, Gotta go kill a bear. <laughs> Me and the old bear. Every time we meet, we make a little trade. And what do you trade? <laughs> Each other's blood, mostly. Sounds like a losing proposition. Oh, I'm sure it will be. For one of us. Let's talk about the, the woman we're looking I'm for. Here is I'm looking for someone. <laughs> you won't find too many people out here. That's kind of the whole point. This is someone important to me. A woman. 
She may have passed through here a few days ago. She might have been injured. What makes you think she came through here? She passed through the tunnel leaving Milton, but then... I'm not sure. Well, the roads from Milton don't lead this way. I mean, sure, absolutely. Wherever she's headed, you'll have to cross the mountains to find her. Not an easy path, even for the most experienced outdoorsman. Which I am not. I'll do whatever it takes. Well, you won't get far with that bear on the prowl. No, nope, but I'll put bullets in get my radio up and running, so we can find out what the hell is going on. Maybe someone out there has seen your friend. Perseverance Mills. The woman I'm looking for. She might be on her way to a place called Perseverance Mills. You know it? Yeah. Shit, nothing town. North part of the island. Sounds about right. Yeah, I know it. We were on our way there, my passenger and I, when we crashed. I need to find a way to get there, or contact her. See if she's alright. Sure she's Back to you in the radio. Yeah. I'm sure. Oh, well, normally I'd make some calls on the old shortwave. Whole area's been damn quiet since those lights in the sky. Even the wildlife's acting strange. But I might have an idea. Strange? What do you mean, the wildlife's acting strange? You live out here long enough, you get a sense for the patterns in nature. Right now, the patterns are broken. Critters aren't behaving the way they should. It's like they're spooked or something. No. Not spooked. But changed somehow. Best way I can say it is... Things, things don't, don't feel, feel right. right. You said you had an idea. What do you have in mind? Does it involve well, me shooting that thing in the bear? it's a long shot. But I may know how we can find out about your friend. I'm listening. This shortwave. I use it to keep an ear open for what's going on. So how do we get the radio working? There's no reason I can see why it shouldn't be working. Well, what about more parts? Or another radio? We might find another radio. But I think I have a better idea. Probably tower? Is. It's no use with the old bear out there. Probably gonna have to go to that tower. To a working radio. And our survival is through that bear. Yeah, we're gonna have to do that tower. Have to find a way to deal with him first. Okay. So we have to deal with the bear. But you're half dead, and rifle shots don't seem to do much. So... That's because the old bear, he's special. I've been hunting and trapping for years, and I've shot a lot of bears. But I've never encountered anything quite like him. So he's some metaphysical. A special bear like that. He needs special magic to bring him down. Uh, magic? <laughs> don't worry. I'm not delirious. I don't mean literal magic. But we need the old knowledge. The old ways. What do you have in mind? There's an old story. Local legend, maybe. About one of the original settlers of this place. Spence. Story goes something like this. Spence shows up and sets up his claim shanty with his young family in tow. For generations, the family had been traders in the Hudson's Bay Company. Old voyageur stock, they say. Hard people. Survivors. One day, a bear shows up and menaces the homestead. Spence takes a shot at the bear, but it doesn't seem to do anything. Bear wanders off, but Spence's wife, she takes a turn, slips into fever. For days, delirious, she screams about the bear. Local doctor can't do a thing for her, neither can the priest. Week later, a hired hand goes missing, and they find him. Just a body. Ravaged. Spence fears for his wife and kids. He's convinced some evil bear spirit is trying to kill them. Revenge for some slight in the past, maybe. Something in the family history. 
So Spent not real magic, but you know. Hunting party. They go out into the muskeg the, stand, the, 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 the standard days. Native, Native American magic. It. You know, not oh, real magic. Son of a I hate when people call that not real Biggest magic. Biggest bear they'd ever that's, seen. Uh, Man killer. Story goes, they empty their Anyone that lived that, and it just that walks away. Any peoples that lived like that close stone. to the earth have to know they, they call were magic. it a demon bear after that. Wife's dying now. Spence believes the bear's evil spirit is killing her, eating her soul. He can't get anyone to join him on another hunting party. They know rifles don't work. So he forges a spear, like a boar spear, but bigger. From some old Hudson's Bay trapper's wisdom, apparently. He goes out into the muskeg, disappears for days, and then one morning, the wife's fever breaks, but nothing from Spence. Some men go out looking for him, and they find him half dead. Half dead. Blood all over him. Body, body torn, torn almost in two. How are you half dead and also That's half a body? The last thing he says is, Spear stole the bear's soul. My wife is now free. And then he's gone. So I have to create this mystic spear. So, did he kill the bear? Nobody knows. Never found a carcass. They buried Spence, took the spear back, and hung it over the mantelpiece in the Spence homestead. Never saw that bear, or any other, again. Years later, after the Spence family faded to obscurity, wealthy land baron bought the spear to hang in his hunting lodge. Just so he could tell that story, I imagine. So I'm gonna have to go find this spear. So do you believe it? The story of the demon bear? And the spear stealing its soul? <laughs> no. Of course not. I, I might spend all my time alone in the wilderness, but I'm not crazy. But the old stories sometimes have truths hidden in them. Spence might have been superstitious. But he had the right idea. Ten inches of cold, hard steel might do what a bullet can't. I'm convinced. A spear's the way to kill that bear. And you need to get Spence's bear-killing spear if we're sure. going to survive the winter. The old hunting lodge is still there. A couple of days' journey south. Follow the tracks the other way, through the muskeg, and you'll find it. If the spear's there, get it. All right, so we're leaving the through the other side. All right, um, and the radio? Oh, I thought we you were done. You deal with the bear, and let me worry about the radio. <coughs> Ooh, I gotta steal the stuff out from under his bed. Oh, let me rest. Good luck out there. Watch out for our demon. Yeah, right. I mean, I got a full a full clip, but. All right, I can't touch his chest. Anyway, that was that. Hope you liked it. If you did, let me know. If you didn't, let me know. If you don't, if you want to play something else, tell me what you want to play, and I'll see you about playing it. And if you can subscribe, subscribe to the next milestone. We're currently working on 100. That would be super fantastic. Anyway, we'll catch you next time.